Hey guys, it's Sarah. My lighting is super weird, but um, I haven't came to you in a long time because I kind of straight off, I'm walking through my house right now to try to find some better lighting. But I kind of straight off um, from doing low carb. I gained some weight. My weight got, my highest weight was 207. I'm 5'5", five five, by the way. Um, my, there we go, maybe. Maybe, there we go. Um, so my highest weight was 207. My lowest weight, I used to be super skinny when I was younger, I'm not even gonna lie. Um, I danced and I was always super healthy, but I got PCOS and that was while I was gaining weight. I was on the Depo Provera shot when I was 18. I gained 30 pounds super quick. And it's kind of been downhill since then. So um, I'm 32 and like I said, I'm 5'5". Five five. So I got diagnosed with type 2 diabetes. I've been trying to get pregnant for almost a year, my husband and I have. And I do believe that my weight has caused me to not. Um, if you look at me, you probably would think I was probably like 180, 170, but I am, you know, I was 200 or over 200. So I go to the doctor like two Tuesdays ago, about a week and a half ago, and he diagnosed me with type 2 diabetes, um, which I kind of knew was going to happen. He weighed me, I was 204.4 at the doctor. So I got home and I'm like, I'm done. Like, I'm, this is. I, this is ridiculous. I've got to change something. So I changed by going back to low carb and I've been really successful. It's now Monday. Um, so tomorrow will be two weeks and I'm down 10 pounds. I was actually down 11, but I gained like 1.6 pounds because I had a couple glasses of wine. Um, but I'm down 10 pounds in two weeks. And if that shows you anything, that's just showing myself more than anything that I can stick to this. Um, but the problem is me sticking to it. So the willpower has to be there. The, the realization that I can't eat carbs because I binge. Um, I was telling my dad tonight, I went to a diner tonight and I had an omelet and it was delicious and I had a side of bacon with it and it was great. Um, but I told my dad, I was like, so I used to have a binge problem and here's what I used to eat. And I would spend $18 at Chick-fil-A and eat it all. And then I would spend another 18 at Taco Bell that night and eat it all. And then McDonald's, I would always have like biscuit and gravy and a bagel and um, egg McMuffin. And that is embarrassing because my husband is like 60 pounds heavier than me. He's super tall, so he looks like really skinny. But um, I eat more than him, or I ate more than him. So it's like... I had to change something because I'm killing myself with fast food. So, anyway, I'm really excited. Um, I mean, you probably can't tell in my face because it's only 10 pounds, but my face, I feel like feels thinner. My stomach looks thinner. I'm going to do before and after pictures. I'm excited. I told my doctor that I'm not. I'm going to postpone trying to get pregnant for a couple months and, and try to lose 20 pounds. So, as of right now, I'm like... I haven't weighed, well, I weighed this morning and I was 193, um, but yesterday I was 191.6 or 191.4 .4 yesterday, so I'm hoping to get to the 190 mark by Friday, and I'll do another video if I do, even if I don't, I will still do a video, but I was just going to show you a couple of food items that I've gotten, and I just wanted to kind of tell you my story and hopefully inspire someone, so I'm going to take you around my kitchen real quick. <clears throat> So that's my dining room, so you guys can see, and I've decorated for Christmas. And here's my kitchen area. Okay. I don't have, like, a ton in here. I'm not even going to lie. But um, here's pretty much what I've been eating. So I've been doing, like, three of these hot dogs, some cauliflower rice, which is in, like, that container. I've been doing lots of eggs. Uh, I've got some cheese because I made some cheese, um, like little tacos. You can clearly see I don't have a ton in here. That's my husband's beer because I really try not to drink beer. I do a coffee with heavy cream. 
Um, lots of veggies, so I do broccoli with cheese sauce. Um, I'm getting re ready to make white chicken chili. Um, that's gonna just have some rotel, some cream cheese, chicken, and my husband's gonna do beans and corn on the side, and I'm not gonna do beans and corn, obviously. Um, I've been using this in my coffee, salted caramel. And I've been eating canned chicken every single day. I've been flavoring my water with this. So, and there's a whole bag of pecans. Of course, my husband has almost eaten all of them. I'm mad. I'm going to have them. Um, that was a whole bag from Costco. But those are delicious. Like when I get hungry. Um, been doing some tuna salad, egg salad. So one thing I haven't done is I haven't been eating out. I've eaten chicken salad, tuna salad, or egg salad every single day for two weeks for lunch. And for dinner, I've either had eggs, like fried eggs, or hot dogs and a vegetable. Um, tonight I did go to a diner, but my dad paid for it, and I had an omelet. Sorry, my hair's sticking out. Um, I had an omelet with some bacon. Gosh, I need my roots done. <laughs> um, anyway, if any of you guys are like curly hair fans and want to know a curly hair routine, here's some of my curls. Today's a interesting curl day. It's not like as big and curly as I'd like, but um, it's doing pretty good. My skin's cleared up a lot since I started doing this. I've been drinking a ton of water. I've been doing like a sip of soda a day, but I have been drinking a lot of coffee. Um, energy level, super high. I've been cleaning my house like every single day and doing laundry and stuff that I used to not do because I'm tired all the time. Um, try to think of one more, of a couple more things I did. Oh, I, w I did go to a Mexican restaurant, um, one time, which I used to eat out three times a day. So, eating out twice in the past two weeks is like crazy for me. And I went to a Christmas party this past Saturday and I had two glasses of wine and I had two scoops of, um, spinach artichoke dip and some cheese and that's all I ate because that's all they had that was cuter friendly um let's see what else I've had oh I had some frozen salmon burgers I had some frozen chicken burgers I made those one night for my husband and I and they were delicious I've been doing a lot of hot dogs like I said I've only been doing like two meals a day though plus my coffee so I know that's why I've like Probably, I haven't tracked anything, but I'm sure I'm eating like 900 to 1,000 calories a day. But I'm not super hungry, so it's actually working out. But anyways, uh, I think that's all. And thank you for watching. And my YouTube channel um, is not necessarily connected to my Instagram. I used to post pictures on my Instagram all the time of my food. And I have not been posting because I feel like I got a little bit obsessive with it. So I'm just going to start doing YouTube instead and I still look at, at Instagram for motivation and I follow a ton of people that are low carb but um, I just really am posting my weight there more than anything. Well not my actual weight because I, I've only told you guys my weight but um, I'm just posting like what I've lost on Instagram and Facebook. Um, and I just wanted to say thanks to everyone who watches and I know I don't have like a ton of viewers but hopefully... I can motivate someone, even just one person. I'll be super happy with that because I can thank so many people that have motivated me, but mostly my husband has just really stood by me. So just want to thank him. Um, any questions, post below and give this a like and a thumbs up and like my page and subscribe, whatever you, ca you call it. Anyway, I will talk to you guys in probably like four days. I think I'm going to post something on Friday, maybe Saturday. Wish me luck. I hope to be 190 by then. Ooh. Bye.